It's Thursday morning. Probably wondering why I look like a miner with this light on my head. Well, I'm doing a surgical strike on the MacBook Air that I bought for 100 bucks. I'll show it to you now, but first, welcome to my vlog. <laughs> is the MacBook Air. What you're looking at here is the 13 inch MacBook Air from late 2010 I think it is or something like that. It's got, here I'll show you if it'll let me. No, having a little bit of a keyboard malfunction here. Allow me to demonstrate. So you type stuff in and you, you'll notice, watch, it'll start deleting on its own. Look my hands are, are free. I'm holding the camera with the other one, and it should start deleting shit. Yeah, there it goes. So it just starts just deleting characters on its own. Talking to the lady about it, she apparently dropped coffee and frigged over this whole side of the keyboard. So enter presses, this key presses delete keys really bad the power button presses itself on its own which is why this keeps coming up so that's why I kept shutting off on her because if you double tap the sh well what happened was it hit the power <clears throat> and then it would hit enter so it would turn itself off all the time so I'm basically doing a quick little cleanup on here and I'm not done yet I'm gonna have to hit it even more however I need to kill the battery on this stupid thing because uh, I don't know how to run it without the battery because the battery's built in. Stupid design. Such a stupid design, but they're all going that way now. Look, you can still see all the mess she had on it. Well, you know, I was chatting with Capus about it for a hundred bucks. If uh, the keyboard's really frigged up, he said you can get another keyboard. Now, they're a little pricey because you don't just get the keyboard. You get got to buy the whole shell, like the whole bottom half, not the screen, just the whole bottom half. And the whole bottom half is 200 bucks. So for $300, all said and done, I could have a Core 2 Duo, well, let's see if it'll, it's not going to let me, it's not going to let me, no, it'll be faster than that, oh, there we go, okay, so, you got to, so right there, here, Core 2 Duo, 2 gigs of RAM, DDR, oh, shut up, computer, okay, so there it is right there, Core 2 Duo, 6, gig, six meg cache, 2 gigs of RAM, yeah, Nothing fancy there, but look at this. Graphics display. It's got the freaking NVIDIA 320 in it. This here will have no problems running uh, Final Cut and stuff like that. So that's pretty awesome. That excites me. Anyway, I'm just waiting for the battery to die. We got 2% uh, left. She's got a bunch of shit on here. I need to fix this power off problem before I can go ahead and reformat it. She's got pictures and freaking songs and other things that I'm not allowed to talk about on YouTube on here. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe it clean once I get this power problem resolved. And if I can't get the power problem resolved, well, then I'll have to take up cat piss on his offer, fire this piece of shit down to his brother, get a new keyboard put onto it, and then uh, call her quits. So that's my plan. I'm going to uh, dig around with this. Well, I've come to the conclusion that um, I'm just going to suck it up and uh, 200 bucks slap a new keyboard on this thing because... This keyboard is far beyond dead. I'd have to tear it all apart and clean out the insides and stuff and like literally disassemble the keyboard. The keyboard itself is watertight, so the liquids shouldn't be able to get past it on the motherboard. And the machine does work as you saw. So it's just the keyboard itself is shorted out because there's coffee residue in there. So I'm gonna chalk this up as a needs a new keyboard and I will probably talk to Cat Piss to talk to his brother to see if he can get that done for me whenever because all in all it is a great machine works perfect except for the keyboard and unfortunately because these Mac Airs the power button is part of the keyboard which I think is just complete shit but that's the way she goes um yeah it'll need a new keyboard frag it so I'll talk to him there and see what we can do and send it down with uh with him and get her done we'll figure it out well, people, it's Thursday afternoon, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I've been up since about noon. Oreo woke me up being a little dick. Uh, I already had a shower, cleaned myself up a bit, and uh, now I sit and spin. <laughs> Friggin' yawn. I did some research on that MacBook, and that keyboard is just rifle cocked. 
Like, uh, I didn't realize how bad it was until I tried using some of the other keys, like, uh, the greater than sign and stuff. And I thought I charged this fucking camera. I ran it down a slot on the battery. Maybe I didn't charge it. I can't remember. Anyway, um, what the fuck was I talking about? Oh, yeah, the, the, the uh, keyboard on the uh, MacBook is completely shot. So, uh, basically, I tried, uh, tried cleaning it a bit, and it doesn't make a difference. So... Like I said, I was chatting with Cat Piss. He said his brother can swap it out for 200 bucks. Problem is, with that case, is uh, you don't just replace the keyboard, you replace the whole bottom shell because the keyboard is all built in. So, whatevs, not a big deal, not a big deal. We'll go ahead and replace the whole bottom shell. Maybe then it won't be covered in so much coffee and chocolate stains. Son of a bitch. That's why the previous lady just sat there and boiled freaking coffee or hot chocolate or something and just doused the machine with it because. There was hot chocolate coming out of every orifice, but it still turns on and it still runs like you saw last night. It's just it acts up. So, we'll just get that keyboard replaced and problem will be solved. And then uh, we'll have an awesome MacBook. I can start doing some MacBook tutorials again, right on. Because I know people want some Final Cut stuff and Final Cut Express and iMovie tutorials, so... <laughs> I'm still pretty tired, son of a bitch. All right, now that she's gone back to work, I can set up project I bought her shit for Valentine's Day. You know, project I bought her shit for Valentine's Day, so let's put the shit out. Ugh, have a really good stretch. Whew, another yawn. Frig sakes, and let's do this. I will right, we'll see what she thinks of that. Yep, see what she thinks of that. I'm not sure why my battery's not holding the charge for fuck's sakes. Like it's got an hour and 10 minutes left on it. I had this thing plugged in all night. Piece of shit. That's my charger popped. Could be my charger. I don't know. Things keep breaking in this fucking house. It's pissing me off. It's pissing me off. A wild oh Felix appears. God. Hello, Felix. Hi. What you doing today? I'm just laying around being a cat. Huh? You, know? you yeah. see those awesome pictures of Beyonce on Facebook? The ones where she looks all angry? Those are funny. What do you think of them, buddy? What do you think of them? I think they're freaking hilarious. I love them. She wants them pulled off the internet. What? Bitch, she needs to leave them on the internet. They're funny. I know, I know. She wants them all taken down. What a bitch. You don't gotta be like that, buddy. <laughs> well, she is. Uh, you don't gotta be like that. I know. You don't gotta be like that. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Completely forgot that I was making a coffee. Holy. It reminds me of playing video games with Logie. Every time it's like, oh, I got a coffee in the Keurig. Half an hour later after he made it. Uh, I'm gonna have a Dunkin' Donuts. Fire in the hole. <laughs> Alright, well, I just played the shit out of some Minecraft, because, well, I felt like it. Having too much fun with that Yogg box. It's pretty sweet. I'm gonna make another coffee, take the dog outside for shit, and, uh, freak yeah. But I definitely want another coffee. No, like I need one! <laughs> oh, if you look behind me, you can see the snow's just giving her. Again. Oreo, get over here. Sorry. Peck her head, Sorry. but uh, yeah, Sorry. snow's just giving her. Mm -hmm. It's like mm -hmm. ten to three or some shit. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to head her off to work soon. That sucks, but mm -hmm. gotta pay the bills, buy the toys. Oreo, mm -hmm. stay in the yard. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's such a little pecker head. He's trying to run away. Look at him. This is what he does, people. This is what he does. Oh, garbage truck. Right on. I should get the dog back inside, because if he sees anybody, he's going to want to run out and say hi. Oh, Bistro 1919 coffee. It tastes like fart, but it's loaded with caffeine. Because I definitely do need more caffeine, don't I, people? Oh, yes, I do. But oh, well, it's friggin' 3.30. I need to go fire up the car, get the frig out there, clear off the car, bring the garbage can back in, and head off to work. Holy shit. Well, the car doesn't have much on it, so I'm just going to fire it up and let her heat up. And there she goes. A little starting in the car. Um, um, um. Okay, well, let's head off to work. I haven't been doing the car driving scenes in a while. I kind of, you know, not that I'm lazy. It's just I haven't had much to talk about in the car, so just giving her. Just making the vlogs as I go, people. Just making the vlogs as I go, you know. When I got stuff to talk about, I talk about it. When I don't, I don't. It's the way she goes. So, on that note, I'm going to head off to work. And go get the shift over with I'm not prime tonight. Woot! Unless, you know, somebody calls in sick, then I'm prime. Son of a bitch. <laughs>
All right, go grab that garbage can, bring her back. Oh, now she's really snowing out. Tomorrow might be a blower day, for sakes. But um, yeah, let's go grab that garbage can, and then we'll jump in the car, get her ass into work, get this night over with, right on. Oh, that was weird. It said check disc, and then it spat out my CD. Yeah, yeah, still a disc. Oh, ice possible. Yeah, it's working. Bring it. Let's go to work. Oh, it almost happened. Backing out of my driveway. I almost uh, lost the ass end of my car. I can't see over that damn snowbank, right? So um, when you're backing out, you gotta be extra cautious and you almost gotta get your ass in like right out in the middle of the road before you can uh, see if there's a car coming. Freaking Mazda flying up the road and I saw him. I just quickly slammed it from reverse in the drive and punched it, pulled my car back in. His nose went right down, so obviously he saw me last minute too and he friggin' just mashed the brakes. So, yeah, that could have been a, a tragedy. Could have been a big accident. I gotta do something about that snowbank at the end of the driveway. I was kinda hoping my uh, neighbor with the backhoe was gonna come over like he does every year and uh, knock those down, but I guess this year I'm not gonna be so fortunate. I'm gonna have to do this one on my own. So, freak sakes. Oh well, let's get our asses in the work, freak. Alrighty, well I made it to work. It's snowing like a son of a bitch out, winds blowing and stuff. That's one of the problems with North Bay is all the snow banks. Makes it a bitch to get around. Because you can't see what's coming around a corner until you pull out and it hits you. Freak sakes. Anyway, I'm going to head her inside, get this night going, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace the frig out. Well, 6 o'clock break time and I smell chicken. What the frig? Why do I smell chicken? There's no chicken shack around here. Oh, whatever. Yeah, I didn't, well, I didn't mention it was Valentine's Day. And all the funny posts on Facebook. If you're on Facebook, you're probably seeing your fair share. You know, the one by Grumpy Cat that says, uh, you know, if uh, you have no one to share Valentine's Day with, don't worry, nobody loves you any other day of the year either and stuff like that. Freaking love those. Love Grumpy Cat. Best cat in the world. But, uh, well, next to Felix, I guess. So, yeah, it's been, uh, been pretty busy tonight. A lot of shit going down. Freaking came into work to a shit storm. It's slowly starting to quiet down there, so that's a bonus. Uh, still waiting to hear back from Cat Piss to find out uh, if uh, he can take the MacBook this weekend down or not. If not, I'll probably have to wait for the next time he makes a trip down to his brother. And get that thing all serviced and ready to rock. You know, I'm in no rush, but it'd be cool to have it up and running. Don't think I'd use it to edit the vlogs though, because um, I might try, because this camera, like I said before, has a feature for uh, editing on a Mac where you can record an iframe, okay, and iframe is the Mac's proprietary uh, freaking video format, like when you import any video clips, they import an iframe, so that way there, it's easier to import them and work with them, and when you're done cutting up your vid, it's easier to export. So I'd like to try that feature out and see how well that works. And all of my Panasonic cameras use that. What the hell is this guy doing? Back in there note. Get a shovel and shovel. But uh, yeah, so I'd like to give that a go. See if the iframe thing is a lot, a lot nicer than using MP4. It's funny because the iframe video footage is larger than a um, than using 60 frames per second at max, yeah, max performance. And iframe is only 960 by 540, not even 1080p or anything. But, whatevs, we'll give her a go, see how it works. You know, once that MacBook's back and working. Not sure how I'm gonna do the intro and stuff, I'll have to figure that out, but uh, whatevs. It's been a while since I've edited on a MacBook, or on a Mac for that ma matter. You know, since the beginning of the vlogs. That's when I used to edit on a Mac, and then I went straight to PC for the next 700 days. So, it'll be interesting. Anyway, I'm going to the store because I freaking want a sandwich. So I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Peace the frig out. Alrighty, people, it's 8 o'clock lunchtime. And, well, came outside to vlog, because, you know, once again, the rules, can't vlog inside. Sucks. Just on Facebook, on my phone there, and I noticed that uh, ADGE042 and his girlfriend, Knight K, 22, okay, um, <laughs> we're uh, doing the Valentine's Day supper, 
and what that is is there's a local pizza shop here in town that sells a heart-shaped pizza and it's funny because the picture that uh, he posted on Facebook he's like look it's a booby pizza and I'm like or you know a nutsack pizza but uh, it's actually a heart-shaped pizza and they cut it up into squares so that's kind of cool kind of a neat little thing right on well it's warmer than Frigo right now but uh, it's also like snow raining snaining if you prefer yeah it's snaining yep oh if I didn't know any better I'd swear that was angry Joe's car pretty sure it is he's probably over at the gym not quite sure why he parks in our parking lot but whatever it's the way she goes so as far as the MacBook Air goes I was chatting with Capus and we're gonna wait because his brother's on vacation right now and we'll be back for a while so he's gonna get in touch with his brother give him my credentials contact me we'll figure something out we'll get that thing I'm in no rush so we'll get that thing sent out with some money get it all fixed up and then uh, she'll be good to go and then I'll have a MacBook again that'd be freaking awesome so right on another thing I'm not sure if I mentioned yet but those MacBook Airs I was wrong about the solid state driving them I was watch I watched a video last night it was 58 minutes long and it was a uh, complete teardown of a MacBook Air and the SSD they put into those are very much proprietary. It's quite the contraption. A RAM, but not really. It's um, a stick of RAM, but the access port's on the end. It's like a, a PCI Express micro port. It's, it's probably proprietary to Apple and probably being used on all the new Ultrabooks, but it's like a stick. It's not a, a hard enclosure SSD like I've been using on my, my laptop and my computer at home. So literally, if the SSD ever shits the bed, you need to get an SSD from Apple or from find out what the hell it is and get one of those because they're pretty damn proprietary. Water directly to the board. There's no dims to take out. I guess they have to do stuff to cut, you know, when you're dealing with such a small form factor, like that thing's damn skinny. I think it's probably skinnier than my iPad. Probably not, but could very well be the same thickness. Like she's a very thin little machine. It's unbelievable. So. And they got to kind of compensate with the space and, uh, and offer cooling and all that shit. So they really got to cut corners. So by soldering the RAM directly to the motherboard, you know, you don't have a, an extra chip hanging out. So that kind of saves a little bit of space. And those little SSDs save space. And not putting an optical drive in saves space. And the, the main logic board is freaking thin. Like, it's tiny. It's impressive. Cracking into mine last night when I saw that the, the uh, screws they use on them are pentel... Uh, what do they call them? Pentagram screw, screw some five point screw, not a Phillips head, or like a penta head or whatever. I want to say Torx, but Torx has six points. This has five. I've never seen a screwdriver like that before, but chances are you can probably buy them online if you buy an Apple service kit. So, you know what? I say frigate. I really want that machine to work right. I'm not going to dick with it anymore. I'm going to send it off to, uh, to uh, Capus's brother. You know, he works on that shit all day long, so. For me, what would take me a bit to figure out, he's done like 15 billion times. So, you know, I'll pay him, he can fix it up, and then I'll have myself an awesome working MacBook. Frig yeah. Me, I don't feel like cocking around with it because it's not like a laptop. It's a whole different monster, even though it doesn't look like a different monster. Trust me, it is. So, unlike a netbook, that machine actually has potential. So, yeah, netbooks are dead, by the way. I read an article about how uh, Asus, uh, uh, Lenovo, Toshiba, all the netbook makers all quit. Nobody's making netbooks anymore except for Acer. And they're thinking about pulling out too. Ever since the launch of Windows 8, it pretty much crippled the netbook. Train, I'm trying to vlog here. The, me the reason why it crippled the netbook is because Windows 8 requires you to run at a resolution of 1024 by 768 minimum. Netbook screens at 10 inches only run 1024 by 600, therefore making like 90% of the OS useless. So Windows 8 on a netbook is useless unless you get an 11.3 inch screen. That's the size of them. Well, 11 inch screen, then you can get 1024 by 768, you can run Windows 8, no problem. But a lot of them make them in 10 inch for portability or whatever reason. And they put a cheap screen in it, and that gives it the 1024 by 600, making Windows 8 completely impossible to use. And uh, what else is there like, you know, putting Linux on there or whatever, that'll work fine. That'll work just fine. You know, it'll run fine, you'll have no problems. Some distros of Linux don't like my Acer. Apparently there's problems with the uh, the Power VR video, uh, video card in there. They don't really get along with it, but Ubuntu 12, I think it's 12 point some friggin' number, uh, and any revision beyond that will work fine. I looked into it and 
I couldn't put Ubuntu on mine, but I just put Windows 7 back on it. I'm going to leave it like that for now, frigate. I have no need, will, or want to uh, push it any further. So, you know, I'm just going to use it for basic things and whatever. And yeah, I'm just going to give her. That MacBook going though, Catpiss was telling me that I can go ahead and put, uh, what the hell was it? Uh, iMovie will work fine on it. So it's not the fastest thing out there, but it's gonna blow my friggin' white book out of the water, and I'll be able to use um, Final Cut uh, Pro X or some shit like that, which I have a copy of at home, which is what I bought for the white book, but couldn't use on the white book because you need a dedicated graphics card, or basically you need a graphics card that can use more than 250 or more than 128 megs of RAM, and the graphics card in the white book could only run. Uh, ignore those orbs people, that's just freaking dirt on my lens again, son of a bitch. But um, yeah, all my, my white MacBook had was a 64 meg Intel GMA 900. So like all in all, this MacBook Air is a big time improvement over the white MacBook. Because the white MacBook had 1 gig of RAM. This one has 2. White MacBook had 120 gig uh, hard drive. This one has 128 gig solid state drive. SATA 3 to boot, which is freaking awesome. And um, the uh, white MacBook had the Intel GMA 900. This one here has the NVIDIA GeForce 320 at 256 megs of RAM. And the white MacBook had uh, a 32-bit Intel Core 2 Duo 1.83 gigahertz. This, this Mac Air has the 1.86 gigahertz Core 2 Duo 64-bit processor. So I'll be able to run Mountain Lion which means I can now use iMessage on my iPhone, my iPad, and the Mac Air, which will be freaking awesome. So I'm a little excited for that, but you know what? I can wait. I'm not going to jump on board yet. I'm not going to get all on Cat Piss's case about this or anything. You know, he'll he'll help me out. He'll get me the hookups. We'll freaking send that machine down, get her all freaking rigged up, and you know, if it happens in March, happens in April, happens in May, happens in September, whenever it happens, it happens. I'm in no rush, so right on. It's gonna be uh, freaking awesome. But anyway, people, it's eight o'clock. I don't think anything else is gonna be happening tonight. Might have to do something about that snowbank at the end of the driveway, because that's ridiculous. I was thinking about using my shovel, knocking it down, then using the blower to push it over to the other side of the house or something, I don't know. Just get it out of the way so I can see when I'm getting out of the driveway, so I don't get my ass killed, basically. <laughs> so because today that was a close call. That was a real close call with the car. Like I almost lost from the back door back on a friggin' Mazda and that would have sucked. So we're probably gonna have to do something about that because uh, it's just a matter of time before I come out of that driveway and somebody clubs me. So on that note, I'm gonna shut the video down here, people. So if you like today's video, you know what to do. Go ahead and hit the like button. Let's me know you like the video and I really like that. That noise you're hearing in the background is in fact a train rolling in, making a big ruckus, freak sakes. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about today's video, you know what to do. Leave them in the comment section below. And until next time, people, keep on vlogging.